Tanya, as you know, so many families are in trouble right now. Congress's failure to act on a new pandemic relief package creating a crisis for hundreds of thousands of families in Illinois and Chicago with unemployment benefits set to expire the day after Christmas. The impact of all of this being felt acutely here at the Greater Chicago Food Depository. Since March, uh, we've seen just a dramatic increase in the number of people who are seeking food assistance in the Chicago area. It, it, it's the likes of which we haven't seen in our 41 year history. The Greater Chicago Food Depository bracing for what's to come December 26 when unemployment benefits go away. Close to half a million Illinois residents, most of them furloughed or unemployed, on the brink of financial ruin with other benefits like SNAP, otherwise known as food stamps, set to run out in January. So we really need Congress to pass a stimulus bill that includes an, uh, an increase to SNAP benefits, also known as food stamps. That would be a huge help. Um, this is not a crisis that charity can do alone. We really need the help of the federal government. The unprecedented demand putting a strain on the depository staff unable to carry the load alone. The Greater Chicago Food Depository putting out a call for volunteers and of course, cash donations, which are the most efficient way to help. If we have people spread out, it's a huge warehouse. So we're able to spread people out, do the social distancing. Everyone has a mask on, hand sanitizer, the whole bit. And so it's, it's a safe and empowering way to feel like you're, you're doing something to help your neighbors. As for those cash donations, the food depository buys large quantities of food at wholesale prices, allowing them to stretch every dollar that is donated. If you want to help, you can find a link on our website. On the southwest side, Julian Cruz, WGN News.